Come brr. Hello, this is Codes of Harmony. <sighs> this is a channeled message for the collective from the forest. Um, I'm just sitting here having my morning coffee. I'm watching <laughs> my adorable little fur baby Wednesday Adams as she um, rustles through the grass and the flowers. <clears throat> this channeled message is about past lives and the amount of karma, trauma, revelations, as well as healing and love that can come from finding somebody of a past life origin. Please me clear divine guidance to be most beneficial for everyone involved. It's so cute when she goes in the little flowers. <laughs> um, she never catches anything, so... <laughs> <coughs> but she has fun, right? <clears throat> Such a cutie. Yeah, so um, I'm being drawn to do this channeled message. <coughs> this channeled message about past lives because... I've been receiving so much, so many new memories of my past lives, yeah. So anyone who's actually been with me on this journey for long enough will know that I began this channel as Nine Lives Tarot. Part of the reason I call myself Nine Lives is because I am a nine-fingered tarot reader, oracle, star seed medium medicine woman sound healer and artist and um yeah that came about from vicious horrendous um, stalking basically if you're watching this video you may have also experienced stalking um, sexual harassment, cultural abuse, um, you may be what is known as a targeted individual. If you resonate with anything in this video and you don't know what the term targeted individual is, I highly recommend that you research after watching this video. Um, if you don't know what channeling is, then um, I also encourage you to look into that so you can understand what it means when someone is channeling messages. <clears throat> I also call, my, call myself Nine Lives Tarot because I am very much a Leo um, and I have connections, star origins that connect to cats, to feline energy. Um... As well as because lots and lots of unawakened, unevolved beings have this very, 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 very wrong perception of me that I've been somehow lucky in my life, when the truth is quite the fucking opposite. And I have died twice and come back to life. I'm not going to talk about my near-death experiences and um, what that did for my consciousness at this time because that's like a whole nother portal, a whole nother um, energy to be tapping into. But yeah, so I used to be called Nine Lives Tarot and then another part of that was basically that I 
before launching this channel, this humble little space that I'm sure nobody reports any videos on ever. No, no, no. <laughs> um, shout outs to the comics. Um, and I was receiving memories of past lives, downloads about past lives, clear, clear, clear um, indication and explanations around past life memories. If you don't believe in past lives, then this video may not be for you. Um, or if you don't believe in people remembering their past lives, then you should probably fuck off right now. Quite kindly, I say. Um, and thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. Because all parts matter. All the dark, all the light, all the karmics, all the true beings. All those who walk in light as well as darkness, um, as well as those who walk in dark, as well as light. And then after I launched this channel here in the portal of YouTube, I basically, almost within like a month or two of launching it, probably like over a three month period, just received more and more memories of past lives, confirmations of past lives. And every memory of a confirmation of a past life that I've received in some way explains who I am in this incarnation. And all of it adds up to adds up to why I am on the calling that I am on, which definitely exists outside of YouTube. Um Yeah, so, um, please hear me clear the line, guys, we most beneficial for everyone involved. A lot of you <clears throat> are having memories that are coming forth in your astral space. So I've also been receiving a lot of messages around the astral space, around dream works. <laughs> oh, Wendy. <laughs> Hi Wednesday. Hi baby. Are you a koi koi koi? Are you a cutie girl? Are you a little cutie girl? <laughs> um, <laughs> she's so cute, but she can be a bit distracting. But that's all right. Life is made of beautiful distractions. Yeah. So the. Basically, the core part of this channeled message is around understanding that the past lives that you are given access to, particularly if you have been given access to the Akashic Records, to the Akashic Library, to the Akashics, then they are not just random, like you're not just having past lives revealed to you for no reason it's for you to understand yourself better it's for you to understand what you're meant to be doing in this incarnation and it's for you to have a better compassion and understanding for the way that people react to you because whether you know it or not people are aware of your past lives on some kind of level whether that is subconscious whether that is actually a being who also you know, has gifts, has magic, and they will sense your power, they will sense your pain, they will sense your, your everything that you've experienced in past lives, and I'm not, I'm not this is not going to resonate with everyone, again, niche, niche messages over here, um, but yeah, they will sense who you are on a core level, and the way that your soul, your spirit, your core being has been shaped by the past lives that you've had before. Some of you may have been hunters in past lives. <laughs> um, and then, of course, we come to what a lot of readers and a lot of oracles have been tapping into is people who come into your incarnation, into your life, who have actually known you in another past life. For a lot of you, unfortunately, this will come across as quote-unquote enemies. 
this will come across as this will be people that have wronged you in the past and right now as we <coughs> excuse me Oy. Um, right now as the world the axis of the actual earth is coming you know metaphorically speaking is coming back into balance the human collective is awakening the the mass collective awakening that has been the you know the apocalypse <laughs> that has been the huge thing that has affected us all over the last five years that has actually been a consciousness shift that is what it's all been about um conspiracy theorists please do not comment <laughs> no i'm joking you're welcome to comment um but yeah it's actually all been a mass awakening as well as a culling of um those who do not deserve to be here in this incarnation at this time or those who will slow down the collective awakening those who are <clears throat> in direct opposition well yeah see a lot of you will be finding pressure around your throat chakra when you're speaking these truths or acknowledging these truths within yourself the throat, throat chakra <clears throat> grounding <sighs> yeah so a lot of people who are in their core being, in their soul being, opposed to the awakening of the collective, the mass awakening of humanity, and in turn the saving of the planet, of Gaia, of Mother Earth. <clears throat> so I'm just using my hands to do some energetic work. Um, which is something that most awakened beings know about is energy work um, whether they're conscious of it or not so a lot of the beings that are opposed to the mass awakening of the collective are or have been taken off the grid have been taken off the board out of the game um, permanently is <laughs> sent home from school because they are interrupting the organic natural flow of evolution an awakening that we have been moving towards for thousands of years and an awakening that is deeply connected to Gaia to all of the animals all of the plants all of the life that exists here with us that we are actually in part of so a big part of it is bringing us back to being in alignment with nature as well as the nature within I've spoken about this quite a bit on my channel here at Codes of Harmony oh yeah and the the other part of or the chapter two of the story about the name of my channel the name that I use <clears throat> was after I received all of these clear messages about having more than nine lives. <clears throat> um, after I received lots of clear messages that I have had more than nine lives because we all have a certain amount of time, you know, when people say you're an old soul, they're saying that you have had many incarnations. They sense that, they know that. You can even tell that in babies sometimes when they're born, children, toddlers kids you know and that continues as you grow but people are less conscious of it is what I is what I am hearing what I'm channeling as well as what I know and so I was like oh well I can't I don't know if I can be nine lives because there's so many more than nine lives 
um, also I am very blessed to have survived the things that I have survived I'm very very blessed to have survived cancer I'm very very blessed to have survived all of the abuse the discrimination the targeted individual trauma that I have survived um, <clears throat> as well as particular anyways uh, and then my light language started activating and I've been a musician before I became a tarot reader, before I um, had my last near-death experience. My entire life changed. Uh, yeah, and so I was a musician and an artist and I ran gallery spaces, little art spaces in Sikni, where I used to live. And I do partly live there still. I you know, visit there a lot. Sydney, Australia. Um, if you've seen Finding Nemo. <laughs> and... Yeah, so... <clears throat> it's really interesting the way that I was a musician and I was singing on stage for years you know, lots of like weird alternative um, spaces, events, festivals, blah, blah. And looking back, I remember people coming up to me, like lots, every single show I did, people would come up crying after. And I couldn't for a long time, I didn't really understand why some people would come up crying, some people would get very triggered, some people would walk out, some people would... Like, just have these incredibly strong reactions to <clears throat> my music, my voice, my um, stage performance, as well as the people I was in bands with or duos with. But now I understand that I was channeling. <laughs> now I understand... Yes, thank you, confirmation. Now I understand that I was actually... Um, tapping into the gifts and the skills that I am now standing in, that I am now walking with, that I am now embodying. And some of the songs I can even recognize were about past lives. So then when uh, these like three months after launching this channel, Which, yes, I know I don't actually post in that much. Which is part of the reason the algorithm does not circulate my work. So congratulations if you're here. Because <laughs> I got like uh, lots of other stuff going on outside of the camera. Outside of the, the phone. Lots of um, important work that I'm doing. Yeah, so then light language started activating within me. And I've had a long history of having seizures from the type of um, cancer that I had and the multiple um, illnesses or unique ways that that has um, played out in my physical vessel. <laughs> Wednesday? Wednesday? Bubby? Hey! Wednesday? Wednesday sees spirits. <laughs> hey, what is it? Hey, there's no one there! Oh, maybe there is. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you barking at? What is it? Hey? What is it? Hey, 
Hey, it's all right. <clears throat> it's okay. It's all right. Maybe she wants to go back to the sacred fire. <laughs> yeah, so then my light language started activating um, and lots of sound healing started coming through in the work that I was doing with individual clients. Um, so, like, I'd be drawn to suddenly do sound healing um, midway through or towards the end of a tarot reading sometimes. It's okay. Hey. Hey, it's all right. <laughs> There's been so many butterflies lately. Do some sky dreaming for a bit. Wow. Okay. Nature be speaking. And anyways, that's the second half of that chapter. Wow, there's so much activation going on around me in this moment. Let's take a moment. Again, this is Codes of Harmony. And so I thought about harmony. What does harmony really mean? And the term Codes of Harmony came to me in the meditation um, obviously harmony being a reference to music I use my voice a lot um, as well as my peoples Aboriginal people of so-called Australia have used sound healing from the beginning of time you probably heard of a didgeridoo, which is like one of the ultimate frequency, healing frequencies, ancient healing frequency, as well as clapsticks um, and medicine songs singing. And that obviously also connects into you know, the term codes of honour. I thought that was an interesting play on words because one of the other things about Leo's, or the Leo archetype is honour and loyalty, which can end up in having stark contrast between yourself and people in your life or people you run into or come across in your existence in this 3D reality because everyone knows not everyone's fucking loyal there's lots of bitches who are not loyal and I don't believe in gender so I use that term broadly <clears throat> there's also codes of arms um, and codes of conduct so I found like the combination of those things to somehow be linked into my knowledge of past lives and the walk that I am doing here, you know, at this time, in this incarnation. So a lot of you, please let me create divine guides who are most beneficial for everyone involved. A lot of you have recently been having dreams of past lives as well as deja vus. Deja vus are happening in the collective on a mass scale. You may have noticed this in your life or you may have had lots of people in your life speak about deja vus recently. And there's lots of theories about what deja vus actually are. You know, like multi-dimensional um, realities, um, having multiple planes of existence. <clears throat> wow, there's such an attack on my throat chakra right now. 
just clearing that, just casting that off. Calling in protection around myself, this space, this channel, everyone who is receiving this message. Because once people, particularly awakened beings, gifted beings, even if they are, you know, of the dark, are walking an evil path or have had evil existences in their past lives, when they recognize this knowingness within you, and sometimes a lot of people will be recognizing you from a past life before you remember them, or sometimes it's the opposite way around and you remember somebody or on a soul level from a past life, but they, they might have um, spiritual amnesia. I cast off all nefarious energies, entities, beings from this space. I call in protection from the higher ups. I acknowledge your ancestors, my ancestors, and the ancestors of the ground on which I stand. It's interesting that this message is also coming through on Father's Day in so-called Australia. So for a lot of you, this will also be linking into past lives of where you lived as a divine masculine, when you lived in the uh, vessel, the body of a <clears throat> masculine being. Ah, thank you. Okay, thank you, spirit. Okay, the reason this is coming through right now is because of the ice melting, the um, huge amount of, of, um, well, of DNA that is being activated, um, both on a spiritual and physical level, that is coming from the melting of the ice. Some of you have lived as Inuits. Some of you have lived in um, ice landscapes. I've been having a lot of memories around a past life I had in a, um, a fishing village in a very, very cold place a very long time ago. And the beings, the, um, the life I had there, the work I did there, the love that I had there, the, um, <clears throat> okay, so you need to embrace the memories that are coming up to you and you need to not be judging them, even if they're kind of like something that's on the tip of your tongue and you cannot describe them, that is okay, you don't need to understand that there is multi-dimensional timelines that are coming into, wow, <laughs> that are being thawed out, yeah. So part of your being is being unfrozen, unlocked. Part of your calling is being unlocked, unfrozen. That which has laid dormant within you is awakening, is rising. We've been channeling around the phoenix rising from the ashes. They're now showing me like a crystalline, uh, purpley blue phoenix rising from the ice, from the snow, from the lakes below, the ice surface, the glaciers. The glaciers that hold knowledge. <clears throat> Please give me clear divine guidance from most beneficial everyone involved. Clearing the throat chakra, <clears throat> aligning the heart chakra, the third eye. With the soul star chakra and the earth star chakra. Yeah, so this giant purple 
crystalline glass like phoenix moving <clears throat> from the glaciers where there is knowledge embedded a lot of this goes back to the dna that you hold within yourself and the past the past lives that you have had there's no one there bobby wow. there's so many spirits around me right now <laughs> Um, so yeah, you may be having paranormal experiences in your life. You may be having particular paranormal experiences in, in your home space, particularly if you live in a cold place. It's important you listen to the seasons, listen to the weather, the weather and the seasons within you, as well as in the, um, physical realm around you. All these timelines are being unlocked. Um, now they're showing kind of like a like a giant um, <clears throat> a giant clock being unlocked <clears throat> come on wow <clears throat> fucking hell Ay, ay, now they're talking of the gates of hell Oy. and the duality of heaven and hell and the heaven that exists within the hell that exists without. So it means also that uh, some of your enemies of past lives are being given uh, pieces of themselves is what I'm hearing. <sighs> I'm just going to do some tapping. And this, of course, connects into uh, okay, so feeling pressure on the left side of the body. You may be having sensations of feelings on the left side of your body, which is the divine feminine side, the receptive side. Mm. and the word surrender is coming up so many of you need to surrender to who you are surrender to your true being your true calling you need to learn to receive what? Yeah. the ancients are sitting together the ancients are sitting together they have been waiting for ancient beings to arise from the glaciers come to the campfire and hold meetings with certain ones of us and you will know if you are one of them okay thank you for being here thank you for being you lots of love from codes of harmony <laughs>